With so many choices on the market, selecting the right digital signage solution for your business can be a challenging task. However, perhaps one of the most common and obvious choices here is still Android digital signage. Let's break down what it is and why this solution is so popular. Hi all, I'm Gabriel and you're on the Look Digital Signage channel where we talk about everything related to digital screens in one way or another. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so that you don't miss our new episodes. As you already guessed, today's video aims to help you understand Android digital signage, its main types, as well as the pros and cons. By the way, if you're currently looking for such a solution, LookDS service with its powerful software and reliable players could be a great choice for you. See for yourself within the 14-day free trial or book a personal demo to learn more. All links are in the description below. Now let's get started. What is Android Digital Signage? It's digital signage created based on Android devices and compatible digital signage software. In terms of types, there are two main categories of such solutions. For obvious reasons, the classification is based on the type of devices used in the installation. First of all, there are Android-based digital displays. These can be consumer Android TVs or Google TVs, of which there are countless models on the market. And you won't have any trouble finding a solution that fits your needs and budget. There are also commercial-grade Android displays, so-called SoC solutions, which differ from consumer models in their higher brightness and longer lifespan, even on the 24-7 operation, as well as extended display management features. Popular options from giants like Philips, Sony and ViewSonic can be highlighted here. Additionally, we shouldn't forget about various types of touchscreen displays based on Android. These can be professional interactive screens, digital kiosks, or even regular consumer tablets and smartphones. The second type of solution includes streaming devices and media players, which connect to any display via HDMI input, turning it essentially into a smart TV, but controlled by an external device rather than an internal chip. Here I'm primarily referring to well-known devices like the Amazon Fire TV Stick, Google TV Streamer, Xiaomi Mi Box, and other TV boxes widely available within local markets. It's also worth noting professional digital signage players, which come with more powerful specs, longer lifespans, and enhanced security standards, allowing them to handle more complex playback scenarios and ensuring a smoother and uninterrupted performance for your digital signage. As an example, I'd like to mention our flagship plug-and-play player, Look HD 2222. You can learn more about it in this video and of course purchase it via the link in the description below. Besides the Android device, as I mentioned above, the solution should also include professional digital signage software compatible with it. Of course, you could use a USB stick or some other prehistoric option, but if you want to have the ability to control your display and manage its content remotely, you'll need the software. Not to mention other amazing features such as content creation, scheduling, screen splitting, adding widgets and apps to broadcasts, proof of play features, and much more. Once again, I'll mention the Look Digital Signage service, which is one of the leading solutions in the digital signage software market and can handle even the most ambitious tasks related to screen management. Now let's talk about the pros and cons of Android-based digital signage. Undoubtedly, one of the advantages is the reliability and versatility of the operating system itself. It's easy to set up and manage, quite hassle-free and supported by most software providers. In addition, its extensive apps ecosystem with thousands of options allows you to complement any Android digital signage solution with useful functionality. Another significant advantage is the huge variety of devices available on the market. You can quickly and easily find a solution of any quality and in any price range. And yes, the price. This is perhaps one of the key advantages. With devices like the on Google TV or the already mentioned Amazon Fire TV Stick, Android digital signage is practically unbeatable in terms of cost. Now let's talk about the cons. There are a few. First, similar to software, hardware devices may also be subject to Google restrictions, limiting certain functionalities and customization options, like screen rotation, for example. These restrictions can pose challenges for businesses seeking full control over their digital signage networks. 
also cheap consumer Android devices and demanding digital signage cases with large amounts of 4K video and streaming feeds are still not the best combination. In such cases, it's better to choose a more powerful professional player or consider Windows or Linux-based solutions. So how much can Android digital signage cost today? Naturally, this largely depends on your tasks and budget. But speaking about the basic option, we could take, for example, the simplest Google TV, which costs around 150 and 200 US dollars, and install, for instance, the Look Digital Signage player directly from the Google Play Store, then connect it to the Look Remote Management System, depending on the number of devices. In this case, the price is essentially symbolic. Add to this options for mounting and installation available in your region to get the final result. To sum up, it's worth noting once again that due to a number of undeniable advantages, Android-based digital signage remains one of the most common and reasonable choices, especially in small and medium businesses where tasks are not so complex and budgets always matter. Choose the right solutions and don't hesitate to contact professionals when you're unsure about what will work for your project. The Look team is always ready to help and find a solution that will reliably perform your task without turning it into a headache for you. That's all for now. If this video was helpful, give us a thumbs up. Thank you. It was Gabriel. Take care and see you in the next videos. Bye.